Vanakkam. This is Priya signing in from San and Priya. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. And finally, it's Christmas week. My Christmas prep is all going on well, and I'm gonna have a quiet little Christmas at home this time. And I'm hoping all of you have the quiet Christmas. Stay home, stay safe, but stay connected with your family and friends through online or personally. Have a lovely, lovely Christmas, everyone. For this Christmas episode, I want to end this Christmas episode by spreading some warmth and love to everyone. So we're going to make a wonderful, creamy, classic pumpkin soup, which always spreads a lot of warmth and love and joy during the festive period. I want to dedicate this episode to all my friends because I miss my friends so much and it just becomes more during the festive periods. Whenever I make this soup, it just brings back a lot of memories of us cuddling in front of a fireplace during the cold winter months and uh, having a chit chat and amazing times. So I want to spread that warmth and love to you all during this tough cold times and I'm hoping you all have a lovely and an amazing 2021 to come. So let's go see how to make a pumpkin soup and I'm going to be a little sneaky and indulgent and I'm going to serve one of the pumpkin soup with some uh, cheesy croutons but you can just leave it if you don't want to have cheesy croutons the pumpkin soup itself is amazing so come on guys let's go and see how to make a pumpkin soup all right let's see what we need to make this uh, soup i've got about a pumpkin cut into small pieces i normally cut them and uh, freeze them so it's much easier for me to take it and make the soup instantly here i have some butter and olive oil together you can either completely cook it with butter or just use olive oil uh, they are both fine and i've got one onion sliced and couple of cloves of garlic you can adjust your onion and garlic according to your taste and i've got a stock cube it's the same if you want a vegetarian dish go for a vegetarian stock cube if you want it to be a chicken one then go for a chicken stock cube and i've got a small glass of milk and some water all right now i'm just going to take this water and all the oil and sweat the onions the onions go in and goes in about three cloves of garlic and keep sweating them until the onions are roasted now you can see the onions are nicely brown. Now I'm gonna drop in all my pumpkin. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep roasting it for some time until the pumpkin doesn't fully roast but it just comes into a kind of a, a slight caramelized edges. So just roast the pumpkin, it gives a nice taste to the soup. Now I'm just going to put it on simmer. As I said, I'm going to add about two stock cubes into this. Uh, I've not added any salt. Please note, don't add any salt until you finish making the soup because the stock cubes give out a lot of salt. And for a little variation, for a little change, I would like some spice in it. So I'm just going to add one extra stock cube, which is a tonium flavor which has a lot of lemongrass and I really like the flavor in my pumpkin soup but you don't need to add that you can just use a normal stock and the soup would turn out the same after adding the stock just give it a mix you can add salt and pepper at the very end guys please don't add it when you're making the soup now you can see the pumpkin is all coming together then in goes the hot water so you cover the pumpkin up and let the stock cube all settle in the soup will turn thick and very beautifully creamy. So there it goes. Water done. And all you got to do is put the lid on top, put it in sim, wait for the pumpkin to be cooked. After blitzing it down, I'm just going to add some milk. So let's blitz it down first and then finish it off by adding some milk to give it a little bit more texture to the soup. 
Can you see it's nicely blitzed down and look at the color. I'm just going to add some milk. You don't need to, but I, it, it just adds a wonderful texture to the soup itself. So. I'm not going to add any more salt and pepper now because I'm happy with my salt and pepper. You are classic, beautiful, rich and creamy pumpkin soup. Let me show it to you with the ladle. Look at the color and look at the richness. Look at the creamy texture. I've not added any cream. It's just pure pumpkin soup, just with some milk. So let's see how we can serve this beautiful pumpkin soup. Now I've got two variants, which I'm going to try. I've just got some croutons here, which I have uh, literally put in the oven. I've not put any butter or anything. So for serving, I'm going to add a few of that and top it up with nicely grated cheddar cheese be generous with your cheese as much as you like because the taste is just awesome and then for the next topping you can do the same and i'm just gonna add a little bit of cheese first in this i'm gonna cover it up with a little bit of puff pastry Brush it up with milk. Both can go into the oven. Just gonna put a little. Okay. So both the pastry and the cheese now can go into the oven. So there you have it, the cheesy crouton topped one and uh, pastry coated pumpkin soup. You could just see the creaminess, can't you? Amazing. Oh, look at that. That's it. I hope you all enjoyed creating the pumpkin soup with me. And I'm hoping you recreate the dish and enjoy it with your family and friends during this festive period. Stay safe and stay blessed everyone. Have a wonderful, very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year 2021. I can't wait to see you all soon, spreading all the love and warmth throughout this festive season. Take care and once again, stay safe. This is Priya signing off now. Tara guys, bye-bye.